thought, I thought you were going to miss it, dog. I was. I, that's the thing. These damn updates. It was one more that they had in the tuck. And some told me to go check it. And I was like, all right. And then that shit said, oh, wait. It says needs restart. I was like, oh. damn. I just got to get used to the windows like that, bro. Oh, no. As soon as that steamy hit, I'm giving me a brand new computer. Game over. I'm tired of playing. <laughs> I'm tired. I have new problems. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Man, did you get your food? Oh, hungry ass. This man came in and said, I'm going to leave my little thing thing up here, but I'm going to get something to eat real quick. <laughs> like we good, we good, shit. we good. It don't sound suspicious. I mean, just, I'm just saying, I was gonna leave my little pick up, there and I'm gonna y'all gonna be looking at that for a good little minute while. Yeah, your pick was giving us the side eye, like. Right. At least he kept it consistent. <laughs> Fikes ain't showed up in two weeks, and he decided he gonna what? show up today. I'm about to say, yeah, you know, like that. But still, you, could've, you, could've, you miss Boo Boo Love. Yeah, I know. I was screaming at my TV for that one too, but I'm, I'm glad. I'm, you know what? Honestly, I'm glad. I didn't come on uh, that one. Just for a simple fact, like, I always try to show respect to my elders and, you know, individuals <laughs> like him. And I, I probably would have spazzed, depending on how he would have reacted to some of right. the things that I said. Why do you think people be quiet when you be spewing out the bullshit that you be spewing out? Because you're an elder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one to talk back to you because I'm like, no, enough is enough. We heard this shit for 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> nigga had to fade back right quick, like. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and for the like, record, for the record, let's hear, it, let's hear, it, let's hear. It, no, let's for the record, record, I'm not an atheist. I'm not an atheist. Yeah, that was he was trying to get at, but yeah, I don't know. It 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 was a crazy episode though, but that's why that's why Rated K did what it did because it was a crazy ass episode. Yeah, yeah. Know how, nobody know really how to feel on that. Yeah, it's a tough subject. It's a tough subject. So of course, you know. He was going to sit there and be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, yeah, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see. We're going to see because today was all about the black man for once. Oh. The girl. black man. For oh. Once. <laughs> black man, black man. Yeah, that's me. I like it. It's all, it's, it's all about the black man. First and foremost, like, why are y'all the most hated? Like, can y'all please answer me that? Why are y'all the most hated? Like in every aspect. Can I ask? Really, can I, go, can I answer jump that? into <laughs> it? Go jump into it. Go ahead. Why are y'all well, most hated? The reason why we most hated it because we got the most soul. We got the most we got the most uh athletic sizzle, if I said it right. Mm -hmm. I'm eating right now. <laughs> um we got the most we got the most um I say black boy magic. If everybody know what it is, and if you don't know, then keep watching your TV. You know, um, fights. I'm gonna let you run with it, or or good. I'm gonna let you I'm run listening. with it. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say seriously. I, I've noticed a trend lately, uh, especially on Twitter. Man, they be trying to get us the fuck up out of here. At oh, a few black times. man don't cheat. I mean, I don't agree to that. Outside of that, get into that. Outside of that, I, I've been seeing a little trend of that. It's like kind of like. It's always been like we ain't been shit. I get that. I've, I've been hearing that for long as I've been born. But Nigga, everybody ain't shit. It's lately it's been, like, it's been like some type of like it's been. Well, I mean, it, lately it's been like a push for it, and I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, but see, that I don't I'm know trying. why it's a push for it because everybody know they own shit, and everybody ain't really shit. If it comes down to the science, like like yeah. everybody done some shit that been like, bro, I should never did that shit, or this is that was real shicey on my ass, or that, somebody's done that shit. In their time, but then at the same time, we do got. A, I think we have a few bad apples that kind of spoil the bunch. Not like we want it to be that way. Like when you have the few that do get, they do do dirt and do you know. They got y'all out here looking bad, right? Yeah, you know. And I'm dark skin, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. That's straight too. You know what I'm saying. Dark like, skins ain't shit at all. We, you know what I'm saying. I played the middle of the field. Got no dog. Drake. We don't got no Drake songs. No Chris Brown. What you talking about, that. man? Y'all got West with like. Hey. That man ain't shit either. What you mean? We need a new hero. We need a new chocolate hero. You know what I'm saying? What about what about Eddie Murphy, man? He the Prince of Zamunda. He's talking about old niggas. Man. I mean, what? the King of Zamunda. So you want the King of Zamunda to hold you down for the black man? I I rather the King of uh Wakanda to hold us down. Facts. T'Challa. <laughs> Which one? T'Challa. He did. T'Challa. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. He ain't holding nothing but the grave. 
Well, no, uh, but I mean, his, he's an image, ancestor now. The image that he portrayed that 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 was the, I yeah, that was image. that was a good image. But just overall, him as an individual, not just as a as an actor as a character, like yeah, he came he came off like he was like a good man. But to answer your question, I think it we get pushed to the forefront when we do negative things. Overall, light skin, dark skin, don't matter. Yeah. Single, married, uh, prison, felon, billionaire, whatever. Like it mm-hmm. gets pushed to the forefront and then it gets over exaggerated. Everything that a black man does, white man does, red man does, yellow man does, Hispanic, if you're from Europe, it don't matter. Every man does the same thing. It's just that we get pushed to the forefront through social media or through the media in general. And that's more so, mm-hmm. I think that's more on, on a grander scale. You're Somebody has man. to be at the bottom. Somebody has to be at man. the bottom. Yeah, you're talking about like men as a whole. You- I think I think she's talking no, about no, black men. No, oh, no, no. He, he, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought, he, I thought he said, he said it's, it's more amplified. He said, he, yeah, he says oh. it's amplified with black men. Yeah, it's amplified with, for black men for for. But but is it is it in 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 certain situations, is it not deserved? Just for the ones that have y'all here looking crazy that Some do the deserve. shit that they do though, because I feel like for a minute I'm gonna cap. I took a hot break from 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 the black man. Like a like a good ten year break from black men. See how's that I, I fair? If, I, if, if I said that, if I said, let's say I, I went through a, a traumatic event and say, hey, I'm take a I'm gonna take a break from black men, women for a minute. I'll be a colorist and all types of crazy shit. I just I don't think so. I literally nice just save though. I don't think so. Man, when I was in Hawaii, <laughs> I only slept with one black shit. Facts. I let out of my it ain't like it was many of y'all out there. It sure was. No, but it, it was, was scary. It was so nice, but it was just like. <laughs> Off of off of my life experiences, mm-hmm. when I when I got to Hawaii and I was surrounded by so many other different uh, nationalities, yeah, nationalities, different cultures, and the way that they treat men, let alone black men, I wasn't ready for that. Like like it made black women look really really bad. Oh, I'm not like really black, really oh, bad. Man, this is where I get off the train. This is my stop. Well, no, 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 because you, you know what? Because you know what? Because I actually I'm agree. Though. Though. I agree because I had friends out there that they, they did treat black men like royalty out there, no cap. But why, like, y'all get that at home too? Some some cases you'll get that, the black men will get that, and then it'll still not be enough. Or they'll fuck it up somehow, or just do them dirty. Like, what goes through a mindset of a person like that, and, and then you want to blame it on the littlest shit? She don't look like this. She don't look like that. I, I, that's why I, these are things I will want to understand from my own people for, for the men, because of women like me who take that like ten year break. Be like, dang, like, what did I do? I'm gonna put it like this. Um... I know black man can't, I mean, I mean, can be unbearable sometimes. Yeah. I get you that. Yeah. Um, but you know, vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's all about you, you if I look within myself and try to figure out, cause I love my black queens. I don't discriminate on no race, no color, no size at all Thanks. in my whole life. And I I'm I, I I can I can put my head right hand on the Bible on that. You know what I mean? But it comes to wherever you look in, I mean, look in within yourself and see what that problem is of, you know what I mean? Okay, why I feel this way about, you know, my black women or men, you know what I mean? Depending on whoever, you know, the coin flips on. So it just, to me, it just, it's a, something that had to deal with somebody within because it's not just, okay, black man is the problem. Cause every every dude got their shit. Every, like I said, everybody got their own shit, and you can't sit here and be like, "Well, they got more shit than us." Everybody got the same shit. Everybody done the same shit. You can't you can't give me that bullshit like somebody done worse than you did. Bullshit. Yeah, somewhere I think, in your... I think it's deeper than that, though, bro. Yeah, I mean, I it's, it's really I think it's is deep. deeper than that because yeah. that's all I want to ask. Like, have you ever been uh, for UK? If it, have you ever been with like let's say uh, a white counterpart and you wanted to take a break from them? 
like from white. I dudes. have. I dated a white dude for like four years. He just died two years ago. Ooh, R.I.P. Oh, yeah. so I mean, I don't so maybe and it was case. it was different, like from dating a black man to dating a white man, and like I got from the black man, like you would have thought I killed their mama. Mm. I was like, yep, yeah. like what's the issue? Because when I was dating a Spanish man. All right. Or I even had an Asian at one point. No problem. As soon as this black man see me with a white with a white man, it was World War Five and that I got, I got a question though. Um within with all those guys. Did the black man did not have a father figure in the house or any male figure around their area? Half of my uh, black counterparts did and half didn't. And I can honestly say the ones who did have a father figure did me wrong the worst. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted, one, to yeah, the, I wanted to ask that. I wanted to ask that because I wanted to... didn't have a, a counterpart, but they had a strong black mother, our fallout was like, distance or you know i'm not giving enough and i and i'm woman up to say that like i'm not giving enough but the okay. ones who did have a dad an example and some of them had some great father figures mm-hmm. no nah, they wasn't shit at all so i wanted to ask that because um there's a lot of stigmatism behind that too where you know black men you know what i mean don't have i mean they didn't have fathers don't know how to right. treat women with but but is that really a factor though for no. you guys I mean, as black men like do you need a, a black man in the house do you need a father figure in the house no because i mean well i'm gonna let fights look like he got some head well no because i'm i'm assuming that i'm the only one that had their father in the house growing up no i had my father in my house yeah okay, I did okay. Not. so Fuck, I lost my thought that quick because I was about to go somewhere. I mean, that's um, why I said I, w- I don't want to answer the question but only because it, that wasn't my my background, my up. Because the only reason why I, I, I kind of push back on that because, like, my mom, you know what I'm saying, for the most part raised me, you know what I'm saying? So, right. to me, that's why I kind of went along because I was like, they made, they made me appreciate women to uh, more in that aspect because it's like, damn, I see her. I see how hard it is for a woman to do it by herself. And I never wanted to be that guy. Did I still do my dirt? Yes, but that had nothing to do because my pops wasn't around. It was just that I was young, dumb, and full of cum. So I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with the fact that he, whether he was there around or not. You know Everybody got that Playboy stage. I mean, Playboy, yeah, Playboy, yeah. Playboy girl stage. That's all it was. It had nothing to do with that factor, you know? So, I mean, but... But as an adult, though, that's, like, that's I, I say you're 20... Say. As you're 20 or 20, I guess, 20 up to 25... I'm going to probably give it around that range, 25, 26. Mm. Have you done no Playboy things unremorsefully or you had some type of remorse within It's always that? been. It's always been remorse for me. Mm. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. It's always been remorse. To, to a degree, though. Yeah. It ain't like, it's like, <laughs> I'm, it ain't like I'm sitting there crying. So, like, so, but, so why do it in the first place? Do, do the things that you do if it's remorseful? For me, I you had to myself. do it. You had to do it in order. It's something about. It's something about. It's something about. At that time in my life, it was something about the chase. There was something about the fact is is that I was mm-hmm. interacting and, and I knew these different kind of women, and mm-hmm. I felt like it was a game for me to be able to please these different type of women. And I thought that was like a big thing for me. Like I, I was able to say, "Hey, I can please her, 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 her." Like all these different types of women, and I, that to me that made me feel alive. You know, what I'm saying, be able to say that, "Hey, I can do that." Like, you know, what I'm saying or. The fact is, it's like I can, I can, I know women from all walks of life. I know women who, you know, who are poor, live with their parents. I know women who worked at the bank, you know what I'm saying, got their own shit, you know what I'm saying, penthouse on Lulu type shit, you know what I'm saying? So whatever you need. And and then, like I said, I was young, dumb, full of gun. I just wanted to fuck. Like that's really all it was. And the day it was a night that thought out about it. It was just an ego trip and a lust thing in, in my experiences. Um, With me, in general, I say around the age range. And up to now, I always <laughs> I always had that um 
I don't even know if I was laughing at though, but it just came out of nowhere. It was like, wait, you know what he finna say? You know what? I feel bad about the stuff I was doing back then. Shit, I still do that today. Man, fuck that. I don't care. I feel bad about that. But no, but um, but I I never like really played around like that, but only because um. I'm gonna say in high school I did all that, and then it was some point in high school that I found myself. God damn, Travis Scott. Um, <laughs> but um, it it was always out like around 11th grade I found myself. You know what I mean? As you know what I mean, like who I'm gonna be for then and on to you know forever. And um, and I looked at myself just playing with girls and seeing how you know what I mean. I heard them that made me like, okay, let me see what's up on this other side of things. Cause I was, I don't know. It was, to me, I felt like, man, if I would have did this to my mom, you know what I mean, at the time, and I was like, nah, I wouldn't want no nigga to do this to my mom. So why the fuck I'm doing? So, um, learned that at an early age, and and that made my twenty to twenty six hard. Like messing around with, you know what I mean, this shit, that shit. I'm looking for something that they didn't want, want at that time. You know what I mean? I'm looking for a solid girlfriend to be with. We don't have to get married. We don't have to do none of that shit. It's just somebody I wanted to be with. Not saying fully committed, but in the same time, I'm, I am I really want something solid with me. A lot of that shit didn't happen around that time. A lot of people, like, like you know, good said, young, dumb, and full of calm. You know what I mean? <laughs> they want to go ahead and get their rocks off and go to the next nigga. Um, that's on the other end of the spectrum, too. Me, I just went along with the program. I'm like, somewhere down this line, I'm going to find me one. You know what I mean? Whatever. I don't care. So I kind of stayed monk, like, throughout my 20s. You feel what I'm saying? So I met um, one chick, and she fucking put me through the fucking ringer. It made me took, like, a five-year hiatus. <laughs> like, it, it, it was rough. It was rough. Just for, you know what I mean, just with my mindset. I don't know about everybody else, but my mindset, like, if I if I would have had to do it again, I probably would have played a little bit more. Played mm. around a little bit more. How about to take the half? I have a question. Like, regardless. Um, why date a woman if you don't want her to be your wife? That is a good question. Like, 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 because I was just thinking, no, 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 no. I mean, I know. I'm, coming from me, that's weird. I know. So like I remember, like all of my girlfriends, I could picture myself living with them for the rest of my life. But like, like I I came up in a household that way, but I didn't come up that way. Like you know, being around the friends that I had or whatever, that wasn't mm-hmm. a thing. So do you think that's a part that goes into being a black man? Is like that's not really a part of our culture here in america is but far as- i don't i don't think so i what i want to honestly know because I'm, I'm really connected with my ancestral roots especially even way back to the slave times like if you know me you know my family in alabama slip still live on the land that you know they work okay. their ass off on like that's something that that's i don't bring just anybody to even when i was married i never took him there anybody that I've ever went that's something like if I take you there like there's no divorce you have to force yourself to divorce yeah. or, or leave me that's and even if you do me you and your new wife is still in the same house because that's how <laughs> it, that's how <laughs> I, I, I that's, not, like, that's how deep it is yeah, like I have to be that madly in love with you because that's not something that I share with everybody my aunt and my uncle they went through the ring of fire and whatever she had a baby on him then they had their baby then they left when she brought him down there like that was forever and they've been together since forever so i feel like knowing what i know back even back to the slave times like the black man held it down for the black woman like that's what they're used to your union together as one and if i gotta sacrifice a leg or arm or foot to come find you wherever you at at your new spot that that's what it was so i'm trying me my mindset is where what generational period did that transition to what it is now that it's only Eight. a handful of black men, yeah, a handful Eight. of black men are are married or wanting to be married, the way they treat black women or women in general. But um, 
I do feel like there's a, a giant divide between the black men and the black women, especially on how we treat each other. So that, that, that's my question on, on that. Where do you guys feel 70s, like that transition? Late 70s? Early, early 80s, the whole crack epidemic, uh, mass incarceration, and then it might have been even earlier than that. I'm trying to remember when they did like the whole welfare thing mm-hmm. to where if the man is in the home, you can't receive services. Hmm. So even if the woman and the man, you know, are still together, like boyfriend, girlfriend, and they have a child, he mm-hmm. can't live in a house as long as they, you know, like if, if they get married, she no longer receives benefits. And it was like, it was kind of like put on to more black people than everybody else. Because it, 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 it like it, um, it affected us more than any other race in America. Right. It's like it was a lot of things that was systemically done, and I just can't remember when that happened. And I know the crack epidemic with all the mass incarceration, that just made things even worse. I feel like, I feel like now, not to cut you off, like so I feel like I, I don't feel like that. I feel like now is where it changed, and I don't think. I think we're making it really worse than what it is, but I think we're in a stage right now as far as dating and love and relationships, period, and this renaissance where it's like we're being more honest with each other. Because when in my whole days, my thought days, like in my prime years, I guess you can say, from like shit, 2010 to like 2016, like that whole six year stretch, it ain't like I was just lying to these women about where my intentions were. It was actually open, thought out conversations. The only outliers was those outliers, but they wasn't like it was a whole bunch of them. Maybe it was less than a handful I could count on my hand. So it was that stage where like we both understood like, all right, I'm 21, you're, you're 21, whatever like that. We ain't got to get married tomorrow. I like you. I'm attracted to you. Let's just happen. Like, if we like each other, we'll talk to each other tomorrow. If it grows from there, it grows from there. But if it doesn't, that's fine. We're not going to hold it against each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand sex is like an intimate thing, but like I was saying, like I always say, and we always try to trivialize sex and then unless until it, it becomes beneficial to us and then it's not so trivial. When I feel like mm-hmm. it's just, I feel like it's just natural thing. It's what we do. It's we're human beings. We fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what we do. It's like, let's stop trying to make it like- Well, see, that's the thing though. That's the thing too, where, I mean, fucking is just fucking now. Nigga just putting their dick in everything and up and above, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think we fucking a lot like that too. Also, man, nah, get the fuck out of here. I think I think it's a small. <laughs> I think it's like maybe like ten percent of the populace that's really out here out here like that. And then really, I feel, and I think majority of them is kind of like it's, if they do this with that one or two same people that they've been dealing with. Oh, they got that quarantine bag. Pretty much before it was quarantine, the same two, three people they've been messing around with, they've been getting dogged by. It's the I don't repeated know, cycle. man. I don't know. I think people still, if anything, people really getting in even more now because a lot of people getting pregnant. Like you'd be like, where did this so, come from? Like, so this who's out. in the crib? What quarantine you doing pregnant? Is, quarantine did not stop people driving from somebody's house to another house. Nah, right. Period. Right. So, for fucking to stop. I'm not saying stop completely, but like, you know, niggas ain't fucking somebody else, but but one chick in the house, nah, fuck that. They going to Tasha house after they fuck Tasha for a good week. They going to a fucking <laughs> Barbara house. Wait, what to Barbara? Good. How old is Barbara? They're going to Gladys house. 58. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> if she had a fat ass, that'd be good, good talking at Gladys house. They yes, going Lord. down to uh to um Marianne house, which you know what I mean that's probably the white girl at the trailer park at one point. You know what I mean? They're going everywhere and it's quarantine, so a good week. You're not gonna say in the um trailer in a good week. I know myself, I know how I, I couldn't do it. It's pretty cool. But anyway, <laughs> it just it just to the point, it just to the point of what I'm saying is that's what's the problem is with relationship now. People set their soul on Hey, if I'm going to fuck one dick in my lifetime, or if I want to fuck one pussy in my lifetime, I want to be the best pussy in my lifetime. Right, best dick in my lifetime. <laughs> right, and that's the that's the and that's the that's the fucked up part about it because a you're gonna get tired of that dick, you're gonna look for some other shit. 
Thanks. B, we're going to get tired. I mean, you know, I'm just going to list it down. B, as dudes, so we're just going to find some coochie somewhere or some coochie going to get thrown at, at somebody. So we're going to take it. Sorry. I don't necessarily <laughs> agree with that because I've been I've been in relationships where it's like I've been so infatuated with a girl where it's like her shit is like the best thing. It's like brand new, a different chick, whatever, because, you know, we would spice things up. So I don't necessarily ag- agree with that. To that extent, but I do agree with that. Where it's like, eventually people get tired of it, but they go in with these expectations, like with the coming to America thing. People come into but, that thing thinking it's supposed to be the greatest, the funniest thing since the first one, and then they watch it and get their hopes up, and it's not as funny. It's not even funny as the first better one. Better than the original. And now but they it blame seemed, it. It seemed like the black man get tired of stuff faster. No, so, right. yeah, like so, it's just like y'all get exactly what it is, and he's like, all right, now I'm bored. I want something else. But I've had it. I've had right. it and never right. lost it on so, my court. You know what and I'm saying? this scenario, what you guys are saying, it kind of goes into a, the whole Charlemagne argument of black men don't cheat. Right. What you guys are describing are not men. What you're describing are mm. boys that want to be men or young men boys. trying to be men. Boys, boys trying to be men. <laughs> you know, they're they're not men. Cause you don't get married because the pussy is bomb. You don't get married because she does every all these things in the bedroom. I mean, I, I said it only because, because of look at G. Look at G. Look at G. Look at his face. I'm just saying. Okay. No, so I'm, wait, I'm, are, I'm are just are saying you, that because married? of a, of a, that's a side thought. In, in, not married. Nope. But like, because because what I'm what I'm saying is like you if you're getting married you're gonna deal with this woman for the rest of your life, right? Right. So hey, it's gotta be so, decent. So, so so what happens if you guys get into a car accident? And she can no longer have sex. Or the she head got to be bombed. No, no, no. Or, 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 no, no, no. Let's just, say, let's, just say, let's just say something happens to her mentally to where she's no longer sexually stimulated like that. But everything else about her is fine. Mm-hmm. So you, so is no, that's no longer a part of that, 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 that relationship for you guys. So that means you just built your entire lifestyle, the rest of your life, on this one pillar of sex. So and you say that's gone, the whole marriage crumbles. And it's like so there's no. so many, there's so many other pillars to to, to that marriage. Yeah, not that I get that. A lot of black dudes don't think like that. that and that, that's that what I've I'm saying. Seen. So right. It's not like that at all. I mean, I think I think like that, but let me put this, let me put this to the to the side though. You saying because I'm looking at it like everybody got their needs too. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Even though Mm-hmm. Even though that, you know what I mean, she not sexually stimulated no more after the car accident for some freak accident. Um, mm, right. It still got to be an understanding. Like, to me, it's understanding and, and conversation in a relationship that make it, you know what I mean, constant. If she understood that, hey, you got your needs. So, hey, I'm going to get me, you know, a young little, you know, Something, something more. Not saying no, I'm not. Whatever. I'm not trying to go to the, to. to right. But I'm just saying though, if I got, I got my you. needs, if I got my needs, I'm gonna be like, hey, babe, you ain't feeling it. I'm gonna try it. it to me, I feel like I'll try first and then be like, yo, this ain't work. So is it love? It is. Is it? Is it love? It's is like it this. really love? It's like this, right? Disney Plus, right? I, I love can't the really app. I love bro. Disney Plus app, right? It's dope. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a Marvel fan, right? So look at it like this. I love women in general. You know what I'm saying? I thought you was Disney, Disney Plus is women, right? They have all these things. They have all the old school movies I grew up on. They got the new fire shit and they got Marvel. Marvel is pussy. That's what Marvel is. Now, if they came out next month and was like, hey, after Loki, we're going to have to discontinue Marvel because Marvel wants to go do their own thing, whatever like that. Am I going to stop, get rid of Disney Plus because of that? No. I don't, that's not, the, it's not the only reason why I love Disney Plus. It's mm-hmm. one of the main reasons why I love Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. So if she was to get in an accident and her sexual orders don't work, whatever like that, like what Tokyo was saying, if she, if we're married and we're rocking, she probably gonna even, that's gonna be the first thing in her head. She's like, I'm gonna make sure you straight because I know you're gonna stay because I'm gonna stay with her. Like, I'm not gonna leave her because she's, whatever, she's, you know, like a, a yeah, if I'm, if I'm fucking some pussy out there, it ain't gonna be like, no, she no she's like, I'm leaving the family. Right, she gonna be doing. So, 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 what? 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 Woman, do you think is gonna do that? Allow that? Be comfortable with that? Love you enough to? That's do that, where the you? conversation come in, though. That's why you have these conversations. No, so, my, no, no. All right. The only reason why I started that argument was that's how you guys just 
opposed the whole marriage thing. Like, it wasn't like you, you didn't say anything else other than the palm. What was me? You got to be bomb or whatever. Like, you didn't add on to it. No, no, but see, like, I ain't had to add on like, to it because you know at the same when, time, when I'm down. Yeah, but if you marry no, 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 someone, I'm saying, like you, like like you didn't add on to. No, I'm saying that I ain't like, need that's to one add of the on. Reasons you're getting married, or that's, but see, that's one thing. of the reasons relationships don't work. All right, but that's the thing. Like like that that's yeah. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the thing. I didn't need to add on if you saying if I marry this person, you know what I mean. If I'm, I'm not finna marry any type of chick out there. If I marry a hoe, God bless my soul. Cause I'll probably be dead a year <laughs> in in that relationship. You know Why? what I mean? <laughs> Why would you be dead? Because that's stress. On the sleepless night. I know. Why the woman? I'm not be gonna let those Why you can't touch my hose? face, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. No, oh, I got both sides. For both sides. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I got. Oh, okay. Saying. I don't agree with anything what you were saying because, like I was saying, like the thing is, it's not like. Sex is an important part. Why do we keep trivializing sex? It's what we do. That's the only aspect is we do as human beings. We like to shut it from it. It's like, nigga, it's 2021, nigga. Like, we like getting oh, dick, we like getting pussy. Come on, you know me, what I'm right? saying? It's okay. It's okay to say, hey, I like the fact that you can cook or the fact that you're financially stable or the fact that you're a kind person, totally the fact agree. that, you know what I'm saying, that you're, you will be a great parent or we get along together. But guess what? The pussy is fire. So that's like it's like like I said it's Marvel it's on plus. top of it's a plus. Yeah, that's but, a plus that's, indeed. I don't know. I, don't I feel, feel like, like black men that's are the, the plus only that Disney. like that be the big thing because yeah, that's what being that about. I dated other that don't be the main factor. Each each one had their own thing. Like, can you cook or are you culturally oriented? Will you get along with my family? Like, sex wasn't a, a huge part. Like. Yeah. And and once we got to the sex part, then it was a conversation. But see, once you some, got to the sex part, that's no always man. There. Black men, black men get it, that's like one of the first things. That's get it like out one the of way. the first things. Yeah, <laughs> why? Get it out the way. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be too <laughs> but I'm, I'm like with said, them. Like, nah, I mean, well, that that's the whole thing. It's like, well, why 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 are you making? Why is that? The, why is that? The why do I have to wait? Like, it's, I got, it's I got put in this like, devil's advocate is, about sex part anyway. On the whole, y'all put me in this place, so I'm just gonna play my part. I'll stay in this place because I don't give a fuck. I had to. Well, no, I mean, that's a so, big part. So, that's a big place for the black man. Anyway, it's sex. But, so, but my thing is, for a woman, or if you're gonna say black women, or just women in general, if it's all about the conversation and emotion, that's the most important to the woman. If the sex and, and physical contact is more important than the man, why can't we? Why can't they be equal? Like it's feel like like the argument that we're having right now is just like, well, you gotta you gotta have the conversation in order to get to the sex. And the man's argument, argument is like, well, if I have the sex, thing, you gonna me in the bed. We are gonna have the conversation. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like but they're equal yeah. on the two parts. But that's oh, what we're really arguing though? about. That's what we're arguing about. That's what I'm are they really that's, equal? And, yes. and it, yes. it is because it, because sex isn't that important to you as a woman as it is to a man. Having a conversation, or just women in general. I'm oh, saying I was going to say, no. uh, women in general. Says ain't for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, so, like, general, so just in women general. in general. <laughs> yeah. If we don't have anything in common outside of the bedroom, then there's nothing to talk about. For a man, it's just like, well, I ain't sitting there trying to waste all this time talking to you mm-hmm. when I can be over here with these other three hoes because they're gonna give it up no matter what. Oh my okay, so when you say no, that, but that but you what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, then I'm why do they come time. back? Because then they're like, I'm missing something. The, the part you were missing is the part you walked away from. Boom. Yeah, but it took too long to get to it. So he wanted to go get what he was looking for. Why is there a time limit on place. it? Boom. It's, ev- no, everybody's different. <laughs> but it could be the first day. It could be the third day. It could but be why the third is, month. Why is be... like a yes and no answer to this thing where it's clearly multiple choice? That's what I'm saying. It's so you you have to decide like me as a man like I know I want to have sex relatively quick I know I know I'm trying to hit quickly I don't okay. know if it's on the first date third date whatever but I know in a in a very short amount of time if we don't have sex I'm no longer interested. Okay, so you said that right? So when 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 women do it, especially black women, what's the problem? Why y'all, why they get maimed and that. all? No, I'm not saying you. I'm just but saying, in general, from the, in general, from the black men, why is that a problem? If I go yeah. on a date with Fikes or something, 
and we talking. I'm like, bro, I don't even want to be here. I, I really just want to fuck you. Not not knowing you, most guys, most black men will be like, what the fuck, yo? She she a hoe. She getting around. She doing this. She doing that. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Because wait, nobody wait, wants no. to take a, a whole home. Yes. No. Nobody hold wants up, to take a whole up, home. No. Nope. Hold up. Black women do it all the time with black men. So most of them are hoes. But see, yeah. see, with black dudes, so we don't. When it yeah, comes to that, we just need. Chocolate queens out there. <laughs> we we love making you. sure he ain't said that. Hey, hey, did he put all the sense of queens? All to my chocolate yeah. queens out there. No. You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, but seriously, seriously though, and I'm I'm with I'm with good on that one, but um nah, I don't if a girl be like, yo, I just want to fuck. I'm not finna look at you like, oh, you a hoe. You a hoe, I knew it. You know what I mean? Nah. Mm. I'm going a, I'm to a fuck and be like, okay, bye. You know what I mean? We had a time now where, listen to me, we had a time now where everybody know they're going to want to fuck. Mm-hmm. They're going to fuck. You gonna, you know, soon as you seen that person, you know, either A or B, I'm going to fuck them or I'm not going to fuck them. <laughs> as soon as you went on that date, as soon as you swipe left or right, no matter how you came across that person, you're going to know either know A or B. I'm going to fuck them. Or I'm not gonna fuck. So okay. to that to that to the point I'm saying, I'm not gonna look mm. at a chick to be uh, a hoe if she if she she fucking on the first night. Okay, so that comes but, back to the when you're like, why wait? Like I wanna fuck you. Maybe she she know off bat she gonna fuck you, but she want to fill you out conversationally to make sure she not finna waste a body. Yeah. All right. So that that now oh. you put in now you put in like the bonus features in this. It's game. not even not no, no, like no 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 no, 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 exactly no, what you did. Because solid. Some, some women think the question, like that. They're like, do I want to waste the body? Like, mm, yeah, no. The thing, the thing that I'm, the thing that I'm combating, combating from what you said earlier is, you know, black dudes look at a chick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like a hoe if they if they mm-hmm. bust it on the first, first, you know, first time, the first night or whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm combating that thing. Now, yeah, have an extra conversation to see if a dude, you know what I mean, like, I don't even give a fuck about that, or <laughs> or if a dude been like, I give a fuck about that, mm-hmm. you know, have a good conversation and all that. Yeah, that comes with the territory, but just for, I'm speaking, I guess I'm speaking for me. I can't speak yeah. for all black people. For sure. No, no I, I got a question. <laughs> I got a question. So are we, are, so are we Hold on, so good. You just gonna sit there and be like, "Oh, you a hoker? You fucking on the first first See, night?" That's what I was about to say. So, are oh, we not saying that that's all, what I'm arguing? That is not a hoe. No, what's what? First of all, how you, is she a hoe if she's fucking on the first day? First of all, it's not because she's having sex for fun. What, Same thing with a man. Oh, a man is a hoe. Doesn't dude. matter. So you, so you're saying, wait, 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 wait. You saying you saying she's a hoe because she's having sex on the first day, but you don't want to waste your time having conversation, getting to know her. There's nothing wrong with that. How does that go? What do you, wait, what do you mean? You said, right, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to do the conversation thing. You don't want to get to know her. I, I'm not saying that you're saying that outright, but you're like, why waste time with all that if you know we're going to have sex? But then you just said, no, no, no. If so, a woman has sex on right. the first day, she's a hoe. And a man. If a man has sex on the and first day, she's a hoe too. Okay. But, I'm just glad you put so that. Let me elaborate on that. Is like what he just like what uh, Tokyo just said. Mm-hmm. I can see a woman. I know off back. I want to have sex. Right. When she opens her mouth, I know that's for the most part side. that's all we gonna do. Or I know okay, yeah, I do want to have a conversation with this chick, but I'm but I still want to fuck. I still want to fuck tonight or you know relatively quick. Consensually. So that then that's what I was gonna kind of <laughs> add on. No, that's what I was gonna say with with the whole on a woman's perspective. A woman can see a man be like, yeah, I'm interested. I want to smash. And within that first three to five minutes of that conversation, her whole mind can change because he'd be like, I fucking hate dogs. I was just the worst them. things in the world. And that woman could be like a dog lover. And that just yeah. completely turns her off. So even you're trying though, to eliminate though, the chances of you like, fucking. Yeah. Damn. I'm just ad libbing, by the way, guys. I, I just want to I know. I heard you talking about this man said consensual. Nope. Nope. Nah, nope. okay. <laughs> nah. Stay over there. He said Listen. he trying to eliminate. I'm trying to be the Migos over there. <laughs> I just feel like, honestly, truthfully, hey, hey. like one, like I said, I feel like like I'm still a firm believer. Like, we don't even have those conversations being brought up. Like, if, like, 
like I said, well, my interactions, we all knew what time it was. It wasn't no secret or nothing like yeah. that. And those who were, like I said, there were arguments. But at the same time, to kind of get my input in there, uh, one, I feel like that, I feel like it's kind of like this. It's like a love language. Like, I understand my love language is physical. Like, my love language is tapping that ass. Like, that's how I know if you love me, bust it up for a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Another love language for her might be the fact is, like you are saying, like, maybe she want to have a conversation for you out to see if you're a good person. I look like that's a trade-off. So I look at that as the date, you know what I'm saying? So we talking, whatever. We have those first two, three dates, whatever like that. Cool, whatever. Third or fourth date, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time for me to address the, my needs in the situation. So see, now it's time for my, t- my part of the interview. I'm trying, I mean? to I'm trying to fuck. I'm thinking. But yo, dudes, you are the first black man that I know and have met that knew what a love language was. All the black dudes that I know, when they talking about their girl or whatever. And I'd be like, well, what's her love language? They'd be like, what is that? Oh, you talking about quality, you know, quality time. Things that they, like, the thing, like, if, like, like, like say, mm-hmm. I've had girls who, like, gifts is, like, their love Oh, language. I know what Give love language is. Language. I'm finna list them all. Because, I mean, <laughs> niggas know. Oh, okay. Niggas, I mean, nobody asks. Go ahead and list your love language. They just can't speak other languages. It's just like they can't speak Russian. Wow. I think we're telling y'all. I think hard. I think we are telling y'all just in our own version. Like if we, how, like, how do y'all? How do you? Because I think doesn't they like me without? What? How do you non-verbally communicate to women, especially black women? Because it seems like when we're together, it's like the hardest to read each other, even though we come from the same background. We clash the hardest for some reason. Trying to really? figure that out. I yes, man. No, don't yeah, act like that, dude. Please don't act like that dude good. Please don't act. I'm finna walk out the fucking I'm finna walk out the fucking booth. You just don't understand. (laughs) You don't never understand. You'll never get it. And a woman is saying the same thing. And she's saying what all women say. I tell you how to love me. And a dude is like, you make it hard for me. Or I'm showing you how to love. And we just not. It's like listening when we're not listening. Or we seeing it when we're not seeing it. Like there's a. Yeah. It is. I who don't can love the hardest? Who, who can this. show that they right, care the hardest? Out. So who, I'm walking out. I think I think it's exacturated <laughs> because of we're black. I think no, it's I just hit- because, like I said before, we are put like at the bottom of the totem pole through whatever powers may be. I just feel like we are put against each other at a at a much bigger scale than any other the but other race. I want to hear what Good got to say on this because he almost made a nigga walk out. What you mean? If you gotta listen, like what the DJ uh Unk say, now walk it out because I'm gonna tell you. And well, this is the thing that we do sometimes as black folks, right? Because like we don't have our cultural identity as far as who we are as black Americans, we try to pull from different things. But guess what? We're all different people because we're not monoliths, so we disagree a lot. So mm-hmm. you, you're telling me that oh, that only exclusive with black women is that we have those problems where we don't understand each other, we can't communicate our love languages. Now, I know y'all dated outside of y'all race. You know what I'm saying? Multiple times. I've had the same issue across races, different type of races, including black women. That, that'd be the same beast. Uh-oh. It could be with a black chick, with a white chick, with a Hawaiian chick, with a, definitely with a Spanish chick. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, get out of here. Don't try to sit there and say that's an exclusively a black problem. Because it's been a situation, I've been in relationships where it's like me and her, we know exactly what we want. We just can't communicate that to each other. And that been a problem. So you're saying it, 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 it's, it's a wide spectrum. Of- I, don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. When, when expressing my love language to my many rainbows of, of different kind of men, it would be something small or something, one thing. But with a black man, it's a plethora of things that I'm not understanding or I'm missing or I'm not seeing or I'm not understanding or I'm not feeling. Like, and I'm, and I would try right. or, or they but you know who put me on? You know who put me, me on like, to love languages anyway? It? Do you know who put me on the love language anyway? Probably a black woman. A black woman. Yes. <laughs> so we right, got so... a name for my woman. Got a game for my woman. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't I'm saying, know, man. I, I have a question to, to you, though, Kay. What's up? Could it just be that you keep picking the same man? Ooh. And, and, mm. you, just, and you just think that they're different. If, just, if, I mean, no, no. I mean, just looking at as, them the The same person, man as like, in, like, oh, oh, like the type, like, like my type? Are they all the same? Not, or not necessarily tight. Not just, necessarily tight. But just like, like the three of us, we're all different. We're all different ages. We come right. from different places in, in America, whatever. Right. <laughs> but we, but we, but we're similar on a multiple level. So one woman could be attracted to all three of us. 
mm-hmm. because we because we connect on so many different levels. Mm-hmm. But we're all very different men. Right. In 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 the aspect like just demographically speaking, like where we're from or whatever. So do you think that you're you're picking the same type of man? I can but tell you honestly right now, they just look different. They just different. every no every they just look different male so that I've talked to, dated, relationship, they are all completely different, and, and like completely. Different. And I would sometimes I would sit down and I would talk to this old head that I met in Hawaii, and we'll break down my past experience and my future, my now experiences, and we'll talk about each person and we'll peel the layers back. And he even agreed. He was like, none of your males are the same. And I was like, I try not to get the same thing because I don't want to stay in that same box. But I do take, like, things from those to try to better understand the men. And when it comes to the Black the black men, even them, they are all different Thank emotionally, you. sexually, Thank you. physically. That's, that's like, they've all been different. But it just seemed like, and even with our, our clashing of me trying to understand them or, or learn their love language, they all have different love languages and different different clashes. They were all different. But it was just like they were, a black man was the hardest for me to, like, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm I'm thinking that the person outside of my culture is going to be the hardest because of that cultural There's barrier. The, that's, that's, that's and it wasn't. I was talking about. Yeah. That's the competition I'm saying. Like, we, I, I feel like we're, we're constantly saying the black man has it worse than the black woman. And every time a black woman says, no, we had it worse than you. And now you're just constantly trying to prove one over the other. Like, oh, okay, well, I got my bachelor's. Oh, well, I'm going to school to get my doctorate. Or, you know, like, I've been on the streets longer than you moving this way. Yeah, but I've been doing the most time and I got more connections. And it's just like, who gives a fuck? Do you love me or not? Right. If you don't, then leave me the fuck alone. Period. And, and that's, that's that clash. It's like you're constantly trying to compete. Who's better than the other? Who had it worse than the other? And it's just like, man, I don't care. Nobody, I mean, you shouldn't care, but we we won't let it go. You just won't let it go. It's just like, well, well, you should treat me better because you were raised by your father. Or you should treat me better because you were raised by a black woman. Or you was raised by your grandmother. Or, you know, right. and it's just like, why? Why do I got to treat you better than the next race? And the only reason why I don't vibe. Well, okay, home, well, well. So if you dated a white man, an Asian oh man, or Hispanic, not not you. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. If you dated all these other races. Why you keep Why you keep coming back to me? As a black man, stay stay over there. If if it was a bad experience, and again, I'm not I'm not attacking UK. I'm saying in general. Oh no! Even um, if he was, I wouldn't take it personally. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just like like it like if I know there's a a specific race of 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 women that I like. Right. then that's where I'm going to like focus my my attention. If I know that I have a hard time with white women, then I'm I don't care if my love language clash with them or, or not. I don't care cuz it ain't working for me. I like over here. So I'm going to stay over there. Now I understand, you know what I'm saying, you want to experience the rainbow. <laughs> so it was just like, well, all right, cool. Now you experience the rainbow. All right, well, they ain't not necessarily saying like find your color and stick to that color. And I guess that kind of goes I mean, with I'm the, sorry. the argument. My whole mindset when you said rainbow, well, I got a pick. Mean that because because like because you you're looking for happiness, right? <laughs> so if you're yeah, but for you're, you're, what it sounds like is you're telling me like pick a lane and stick in that lane. To to a degree, yeah. Why do I have to do that? That that because, that's because putting me on just a one mind track. No, 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 like I'm because, focused on that no, one thing. Why do I have to pick? Exactly what I was just saying. If you did your whole journey through through men or whatever, and you found Women like too, this shit. one don't, yeah. So you you found that this don't work, this don't work, and that don't work. Cool. This works. This kind of works. So I'm gonna stay here. These other three things oh, don't work. Like if oh, I'm, if I'm trying to hammer a nail. In, into a piece of wood, I'm not going to grab an orange. It shit ain't going to work. <laughs> Eventually, maybe if I freeze it and I tap it slow enough and long enough, maybe it'll get that nail in there. But why I got to put in all the extra work for it? That, that's all I'm saying. It's just like... I don't, I don't feel like I should do that. That's but, a hammer and, and I'm not nail. saying like early on... He like, said that's a hammer and a nail. So, yeah. <laughs> people are people, though. 
I'm I'm put it like this: people are people. People is a mass of a lot of shit. It's yeah. a lot of shit with us as They're individuals. In general, it's a yeah. lot of us. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff as humans that we don't get about ourselves that we still searching along the line where we don't know who the fuck we are. We think that we know, but then somewhere down the line, that shit take a detour, and now we back at what the fuck where Ville <laughs> that we at, and we still trying to figure out, like, hey, all right, well, I know this shit so far. Now I got to learn this shit. You know what I mean? So that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's, it's, it's people being people in general. The answer that the answer that question instead of yeah. okay, because it, it's that what it runs down to. Yeah, she can stick to a fucking lane, but that lane probably gonna end at some point of a fucking lifetime. Maybe not. Never know. But that shit could turn left at any moment. You know what I mean? Could, I'm, not, again, I'm not. I'm not saying that you can't try out other lanes. You can't try out other colors. But it, it just feels like the whole argument that we're having is. You want this particular color to work more for for women, for black women in particular. And it's just like, well, if it don't work for a particular black woman, then maybe that's just not her lane. Maybe at that point in her time, like you're not ready street, to I think, I think, great, I think society and so. the black community well, wants the black on black love to work so bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I don't see anybody outside of that, like, with their own people besides maybe the Germans. They they hate everybody, but everybody else is just like, okay, it is what it is. But black folks is just something about that stay home mentality. Like like my cousin, he about to have a mixed breed baby, and Damn. his mother really? is yes. That's that. Those are the words that were used. I, I'm not saying by who. This the but, first litter or the second litter? This wow. the second one. Oh. His first one, his first one is of our people. And these are not my words that are being used. These are okay. But um uh, we still playing a long I line think, of word. <laughs> words. Yeah, 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 like we we nah. over here talking about purebred. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But um, <laughs> like I'm 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 excited about it. You know, I don't care what the color of his baby mom is or whatever, as long as you treat my cousin right. And I told her straight up to her face the other day in front of him, I was like, you Fuck my cousin over, I'm gonna curb stomp you. Like straight up. Damn. But you know, there are people in my family that genuinely have an issue with it. Like, and I don't I didn't understand why. And he's so young too. You didn't have a generation. problem with the, yeah, you didn't have a problem with the first one. Yo, okay. you know, because they generation. were black. Old and and new. And new? Mm-hmm. That's wild. It is, right? Because I'm looking at it because my mom had this real thing where, like, I'm not saying, I asked her the question of, hey, if I brought on home a white chick, what would you think? And, you know, just to ask that question. And my mom was like, well, you know, she gave the answer that if, you, if she treated me well. But I know deep in her heart, like, man, I wish that black chick would just come in. Not over here. Right away. Not over here. <laughs> and switch. <laughs> it, it it was that the our males don't bring no white woman home at the fuck all like well could that be don't that? bring her home at all young old my gen but like don't bring is, her home I that don't that? know and then could it's it crazy where, like the, the, the black from? that's just, that's just so. a part of the culture from where you're from I don't think so ah family you, all you're, you're from the top right I mean I'm from Ohio. Alabama. I'm from Ohio, oh, but my Ohio, grandmother, Ohio, Ohio yeah, races. my fuck? It's yeah. Fuck, <laughs> patriotic state, but my family, even down there, are the same way. My family in New York are the same way. Like, don't bring home no it, white. It, yeah, <laughs> even even my friends who are from around the the way that are you know African American, even their parents would say the same thing, right? No, what, to no, their I son, to their sons. Hold on, hold on. They say that to their son, but when the subject of bringing a white man to home. As your daughter, it's like you're disowned. Don't even walk through that door. Ooh. So when I, I when I go the other way. no, when I okay. met, well, I we went to middle school and high school together, but when I had this goofy part German, tall, bad teeth, 
country as white boy that is from here. He a soldier. I bring him here. My family like you would have thought they saw a ghost literally as they went pale. They was like, who the f-? mom? It took my mom like mad long to warm up to it. And I would hear things as, oh, did you talk to Whitey today? Ooh. How's Casper doing? God, you still with that white boy? And I'm just like, <laughs> yo, like, I'm really getting it. And this is from both sides, man. I think I had a brother. He wasn't talking to me because my boyfriend was white at the time. And I was just like, damn, his family rocked with me, minus his mom. But his family rocked with me heavy. My family has an issue with it. My my grandmother, she had an issue with it a little bit, being and she's from Alabama, like red clay Alabama. But she is a Christian lady. She's also big on happiness of her of her generations. So she accepted it. And then when she like actually hung out with him and he asked her to pray with her one day, she was shocked. She was like, I was like, he's not that bad. But it was just like I was getting pushed out a little bit at first. And then it took time for them to see. Like, I honestly just didn't give a fuck for them to be like, okay, maybe maybe he's cool because she don't really give a shit if she get kicked out the family or not. But some girls that I know who did bring home people outside of the black community got kicked out or their family don't talk to them, their pops don't talk to them. Like, it's crazy. So, like, I don't know, but I feel like, do y'all feel like the black man gets a pass when they do date outside of their race versus any other or even oh, in no. their own community? You don't feel like oh, y'all no. get a pass? Nah, nah. nah. Okay, you know my story. You know my story. I know your story, my dog. You know my story. Well, Ooh, Jesus. Okay, well, I, 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 just, I just think it's, it's just your family or not just you. I'm just saying, like, I just feel like if it's, if your family is this way, then it's just your family and maybe that community. But like overall, it just it just depends on where you're from and how you was raised. Like I I don't yeah I, I just don't I don't I don't see it that way. It just you don't see it though. Or Betty, I don't I don't want to come on here and say that it is one way or the other. Just for the simple fact, like what you just described, it just sounds like oh, okay. Well, within your bubble growing up. That's how things were. But where I'm from, no, nah, like, don't nobody care. Like, you might get celebrated that you brought home some something different than a black woman. Mm. Like, like it, it just it just depends on where you're from. Like, I, I don't I don't I don't think it's one way or the other. I, I don't know. Yet, That's crazy. I have yet to brought home. I don't really bring a lot of a lot of women to my um mom because this is right. my thing. this is my thing. The more chicks I bring at home to my mom, my mom gonna think I'm a hoe. Yeah. Or um or you know what I mean, I can't keep a a woman in which I don't want that shit to be on me. My brother was that before me. And I seen how that shit happened. And um I was like, well, I wanna be different. If I'm gonna bring home someone home to my mom, I wanna make sure mm-hmm. I know that she gonna stay there. So I don't have to ask, hear these questions. Hey, where your girlfriend at? And you know what I mean? And we already then said do deuces, you know what I mean? Right. So um I have yet haven't I mean, yeah, I have yet to brought somebody other than a black woman to my mom. And yeah, that what brought that question up to to for me to ask my mom, hey, if I brought, you know, white chick, such and such, you know, home, how would you react? And she would tell me the same thing, which I know is an honest answer. When she said, hey, is she treating you good and you feel, you know, you feel good around her? I'm cool with it. But I know in the back of her head, where my black queen at? Where your black queen at? I need some black babies running around this shit. <laughs> I need some. And it just, it just, black people want to see black people win. In the sample, and not saying that you know, happy. But who's to say we not winning? Yeah, but that was that, that what I'm about to get to. Not okay. just to say that, you know, what I mean, somewhat, but just having, you know, what I mean, a, a kid that looked like you, and we grow up, and we got to have these conversations in America about, hey, when you grow up, it's going the car is going to get stacked against you, no matter how what race that baby is. So just telling that to 
mainly a black you know kid mm-hmm. it, it resonate a lot more than hey this mixed kid where you don't know the other side of a mix you know what i mean their their struggles because all you know is you grew up as a black kid you feel what i'm saying so just that 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 knowledge of hey if you raise a black king or queen you got to let them know that because you you've been through that struggle that's in the back of the head of that that I kind of read that between the back of the head of my mom. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's cool to have, you know what I mean? Oh, well, if you're going to, you know, deal with this chick, you know, this and that, but you got to learn a whole nother world other than your own world. And yeah, but, you got to be but up to even, that. But even with that that logic, it's the same thing with man and a woman. You got to learn how a woman thinks, how she speaks, her love language, how she interacts just with you on a day-to-day basis. Like, I mean that it that is a thing that yes, like if you have a mixed child, uh, that you know what I'm saying you got to learn about a different culture. But no, but you got to learn about their struggles too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The cult, the culture of so like if you marry like an actual or not marry, well, yeah, marry and have a kid with a woman that's from Spain. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna have to learn about Spain. It's not about oh I speak Spanish. No, you have to learn about Spain, the the <laughs> your, is Spain is country. European, right? I mean, yeah. I get, is it I get that though, country? but but am am but I living you learn in about Spain? Their struggles as well. You learn about the wars yeah. and how they came to be. But am I living in Spain or am I living here? It don't matter either or. It don't matter. I mean, yeah, it don't matter though. But I'm just saying, if I'm if I'm if I had to learn about Spain, and I'm in America, and I had to tell my kid, hey, this is what I'm used to in America, and I got to voice this out to you. Because how other people gonna see you, then it wouldn't make a difference unless, unless hey, it happened. Why? Why? Why not? Also. Why not? Why not? As a black yeah. man, how would you explain to your your son, your black son, that's gonna go out in the world anywhere, how to be a black man without getting killed? How would because, you explain that? It's the same because thing. Because it's easy. It's easier to teach him that here. So when he do go out in in other countries, they learn that oh, it's not that. You know, it's not that heavy or it is that heavy in the world. You know what I mean? If you travel the world, you know what I mean? He can understand the contrast of here and other places. You feel what I'm saying? Not saying like, okay, you know what I mean? Hey, we less racist than Iran or we less. I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm just saying. You're just picking a country. I'm just picking countries in general. (laughs) But I'm just saying like, here is less racist than Iran. Or uh, um, fucking Saudi Arabia is less racist than da 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 da, or this and that, or not just them having that in their mind, but knowing that that's a thing. You know what I mean? But like, but, but your child is still black. But well, that's what I'm day, saying. But at least they no, know, no matter where they go. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they black and it can't. I mean, you can't wash off black at all. But in the, in their mind state, I'm letting them know that here. So when they get in the Worldwide of whatever the fuck, since we had the flat Earth talk, um, wherever <laughs> we're living on, um, they would know those things. I'm I'm just saying, like, no matter what the race of that kid is, it's gonna be your black. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the shit that going on with um Meghan Markle and, and the royal family, that family, black people, I felt like knew that that family was racist. Yeah, nope, that one from from the jump. So for her to come into that that relationship, not only that she is mixed race, majority that majority of her race is look she the more majority of her body look white to me. No different from she got a little bit of you know little dirt in it too. You know what I mean? Not saying we dirty, but I'm just saying she got a little bit. She got a little bit of something, something, something. but <laughs> it's mostly white when I look at her. You feel what I'm saying? Her features are mostly white when I look at her. And she still get treated like she look like us. I got a question. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm playing devil's <laughs> advocate on that one. Like, what do you, like, so you mean, what does it mean that she has white features? As in... Features have a color? Question. I mean, features that don't look more like us than them. She have a white dad. She look more like her dad not per se her mom is you know black 
Yeah, but when I see her, I just see like a light skinned woman. Like I mean, I I, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, that's perception. I didn't, if I didn't, you I didn't ask, even think you're gonna about ask me if you're gonna ask me uh, answer a question about percep- perception, then I can't give you a full answer if you perceive her as as white. Not I, I mean, black. No, a light skinned woman. Now perceive her as more white than black. Not yeah, saying I mean, that. I just seen her as, as a, like a light skinned black woman. I didn't, like, I, I didn't know. I didn't know until like, I read obviously it. Obviously, she's. I thought she was just black. Complexion. Yeah, I thought she was black. I just black. thought she was just black. Like I never. Yeah. Like that was never a thought in my mind of okay, he's with a black woman that she's I mean, from my anything. side, it's it was other just like said, said, said the same thing I said. That's what I'm saying. If you telling me to answer a question off of perception, I can't give you a full answer because mm-hmm. y'all might y'all might think that, but I don't think that. I see more of her dad than her mom, and I feel like if anything, as a mis mixed race woman. And I'm still gonna put her in the. I know I took that long pause, but I didn't want to be like, you know, like, yo, what the fuck, you know? But as Miss <laughs> too late. As, but all right, go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you said too late. Yeah. Well, right. fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, <laughs> people gonna think who I'm gonna think. I mean, think you know? I mean, people gonna think about me or whatever. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. But back to what I was saying, she looked more white to me, so I think they would be more in they they comfort. Fights if you got damn ask me another I, I, question. Well, no, okay, going so, off of perception. Think, what, what, I, what I'm getting to is like I don't know what makes her look white to you. Yeah, I, 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 like her feet. I didn't know features had a color or like a, a certain like. I just want to say, are you talking about her like body or are you talking about her face? Are you talking about her body or are you talking about her face? Because when I see, I see a black woman. I'm gonna say more. Body wise and a little bit of face. Man. I can't. I don't see the black blackness of it. If you can point it out to me, please. I mean, her like, if I still though. see, her body's all right. I'm I'm with you. Okay. Like I I'm lost. Like I don't. I, I, but y'all can be lost. But this is my damn perception. God damn. Is it okay, she not? No, is I'm just, I'm just asking. Like it's I'm trying to get you to like, like explain it because yeah. when you say she looks more white, like I don't why know I gotta it. why I gotta explain it if I if I'm if I'm perceiving her as white. I don't. I mean, not I don't know white. But what I mean, makes like her? Look, what makes? Yeah, I don't your Perception her as to her to look white. What is it about her that makes you look at her as white when you first seen her? Um, is it her skin you tone? You want to is it her, her dad, facial no, features compared to her dad's facial features? Like, what is it? Let me let me let me bring up a picture of this. I mean, I seen all the little little Oprah thing though, but she looked more white to me on that shit than anything. I mean, but that's compared to Oprah though, so that's that's a whole another thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole another thing to me. Wow, that would take so Oprah getting shot. Dang, shots at Oprah, Oprah don't get shots though, but Oprah is a black woman, a black oh woman. You are not getting that confused with any other race or anything. Oh, right. She, are, she is, is blackity so black, damn. black, 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 y'all. And I'm black, oh, y'all. She is Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yo, I ain't gonna cap. I don't even know who you are right now. This is not the yeah, Tokyo that be recorded on Friday nights. I don't know this guy right now. <laughs> who is this person? I, hey, y'all gonna make me the enemy, no. goddamn it. I'm gonna be the damn enemy. <laughs> Fuck what y'all talking about. Right Fuck now, you sounding like one right now. It's like hey. You sounding like one. Hey, and they let you, dude. Hey, like I'm looking, hey. I'm looking at her father right now. I right. don't see what you see, man. Maybe, maybe the nose, but nah, not even the nose. Everybody, man, see something know. different. If you happen man. to be listening, guess, and watching this, you can put in the comments what do you guys think. Do you yeah. think she looks white or black? Yeah. Me personally, you won't see my comment because I'm going fuck. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't no surprise that the royal family was racist. They colonized the fucking world. They've been putting people down. No, through. y'all gave me y'all gave I me mean, a breakthrough. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go. On, let me go and announce this. Yeah, she do got a little bit of little bit of you know such and such. I do see her as a black woman though, but she is not. <laughs> not the you just typical don't find her black woman. Oh no, she's not she, thick. She is that what you're trying to say? She ain't thick. No, she ain't dark, damn it. <laughs> you got <one> <laughs> <laughs> he finally said it. She, she is not dark meat. So she wait. is the light meat. 
So he got I fried be, with another batch of. So of, would I of not be? Because I'm not the darkest thing either. I mean, but still, you still got a little bit of darkness than her. Am I lying? That's crazy. I, I know. I know. Everybody got a mirror. So I know I ain't a, the only one that got a mirror. What a, what a black person that's albino be considered black? Oh, all right. Hold on. So we calling her albino now, or she? Or I'm no? asking no, you. But I want to be. I want to be clear. Because, <laughs> hey, okay, if they albino, yeah, they could either be black or white. No matter. I mean, well, I can't say black or white because then that'd be like a. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how that shit work with black. I mean, white folks. But with black folks, is you see a, a, a <laughs> white black person. Y'all making it hard for me to explain okay, so, this shit. And these so, are so the minds so, right, of so black logic. men. So when, okay, when this you see logic, is logic <laughs> black or white? Not all black logic. men. Some black men. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Is logic black or white? Logic look more white than to me, so I'm, I am I probably would have probably would have crossed them as white. I gave okay. you that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That. I see. That's okay, why now. I'm coming at with Megan, though. So her but y'all skin. think you mean, seem like her, white fucking got the evil I don't agree, though. I'm in the mid. She looked black. Look, look, each his own. Anybody could, could somebody could have said the same thing I am. Hey, cancel me, Twitter. I don't give a fuck. So like, what, <laughs> what, about, what about Nicki Minaj? Is Nicki Minaj black? Oh hell yeah! I mean, you can look at you can look at Nicki Minaj and be like, okay, yeah, she black. How? What the fuck? All right, do I have to Google her? Because no, I, I mean, I what, Google uh, Megan uh, and agree with y'all. Like, I can see, I can see what y'all saying that she's, you know, what I mean. She looked more blacker than what I thought she was. Stacey Dash. She, she was in the news recently. Yeah. When you, her when you see Stacey apology. Dash, is she black or is she white? She black. So she the closest thing her? to Megan. She, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. She no. is. <laughs> they like Stacey. Let me get my strong voice I will almost say no, Stacey no, Dash no, no, is lighter no, no. Than, than Megan. I'm finna Damn put it. this up now. I'm Y'all finna... got me invested in this shit. Damn hey, it, now I gotta go. Hey. Hey, hey, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm lost now. Yeah. Stacey Dash is way lighter than than Megan. And she has like different color eyes that make that make it stand out even more. Hold up. Nah. That she could be potentially go a ahead, different. Race. Go ahead. Go ahead. How about good? Tell me, bro. Yeah, I ain't got me fucking. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. I ain't give a fuck about this colorist conversation, nigga. <laughs> I was sitting back chilling, getting high, nigga, just enjoying the conversation, nigga. And y'all got me invested in this dumbass conversation. Good. All give right. it to me, bro. So, give it to all me. Right. Can I share the screen? Fuck, share, the, share the screen, please. Please share oh, I gotta the screen. Be, I got it. The host, uh, K, you got a neighbor. You know what's needed to share it. Even on Google, uh, she was talking to the rest of the world. That's all right. YouTube, huh. so just read the disclaimer at the bottom. I'll put it at the bottom. We don't own the rights to this. This is this is Google. Right. This is Google Images. Okay. We don't lie. Nah, 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 don't. Uh, you, you lost right. me on that one, Tokyo. Go ahead. You should be able to see. Stacey share Dash. Screen. Yeah. All righty. So. Even though clueless, she was darker than the rest of them, dog. Come on. Okay. All right. That's makeup. <laughs> this is Megan. <laughs> this is Megan. You really think Donald Trump is orange? Yeah. Now look at that. You ain't even seen white me, lady agree. at eight No, no. But look, no. Listen, listen, listen. I agree with y'all on that. I went and looked up. I was Stacey like, Dash. okay, I can see. That's Stacey, Stacey Dash. Dash. Stacey Dash looks like she went she got a tan. More, she can pass off more for a white woman than Megan, yeah. bro. A white yeah. woman with a cat. Yeah, Megan looks like is... a black woman, bro. No what? cap. X. No cap. X. No cap. What? And I'm out of what? this conversation, goddamn it. I'm going back to smoking. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro, you need to stay off that weed because you, your, your eyes comments. ain't seen what I'm seeing. In the comments, please let us yeah. know in the comments. Please. Please let us know. Because even if, bro, I got a picture for you. Even in this picture, she darker than, than Megan will ever be, even if she got a tan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, so what's the next subject, Cash? Yeah, we're we moving we over. We get Where the we last now? thing. The last thing, man. Hey, hey, y'all can call me toxic. All y'all want to, but I don't. You give a are fuck. very toxic. You are That's very hilarious. toxic. I don't give You're a fuck. Very, you are very toxic. Call me what you call me, though. But hey, at the end of the day, I'm gonna say it like this. And I'm not gonna be really toxic on this, but <laughs> I think Too what late. I think. Too late. I mean, no, no. I think what I think. Everybody can't think the same. Everybody mm-hmm. can't be the same person. That's true. That's true. We all individual. So, so, so if y'all gonna cancel me for saying this shit, hey, guess what? Fuck it. I only got one life to live. It's just gonna be me and one coffin, and nobody else gonna be in that bitch with me. 
That's so, a fact. Well, you have a PR team. Not, 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 not uh, challenge accepted. I'll be there. <laughs> oh, yeah. For, he's, <laughs> like, he's what the fuck here. is he doing? He said I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, am I feeling like gonna see his fight? It's gonna jump in there and be like, I told you, nigga. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Straight selfie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> fight's gonna be like, I told oh you, nigga. God. <laughs> you roll. All the way now going I down. Gonna make, now I ain't gonna make it be able to post that shit. Nah. I know your family gonna murder my ass. <laughs> nah, the they gonna just gonna look at you and be like, what the fuck is this? Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know you. Right. Are uh, they gonna see you being like you're wrong, nigga? You're wrong. I told you, ask the cast to go down. I told you, nigga, you wrong. You wrong. You wrong. <laughs> oh my God. But nah, we, the, 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 yeah. This this is it. This is it. This is it. With everything going on in the world, especially this police brutality, and especially to the black man, how would you? prepared first of all how do you see yourself like how does it feel when you first wake up and you walk out into the world and, and a cop pull up next to you what is that like for a black man and then secondly how would you prepare your next generation whether you have a little girl or a little boy to walk out into the world and you know not put themselves in that situation like what is that like as, as, as a man, as a black man, and, and in some cases, the head of the household, how do you protect from the outside when you're not around your, your children or your mother or your wife? Because that's, that's a big burden that, that's put on men, especially black men, to be the protector and, and all that. But when society sees you guys as, as a danger, is a danger, <laughs> like... What is that like? Like, speak on that. I, can, I, I, get, I, I really want to know. All right, so well, I'm gonna, go ahead I'm gonna say, that, my, I'm gonna say my, I'm gonna say my piece because everybody already think I'm toxic already. Tokyo, you so they been gonna, toxic. They gonna, they gonna throw, they gonna throw, they gonna throw my side. Nigga, I, no. I've been quiet for like <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> Let me get my speech. It's gonna be a little short, and then y'all can go back to y'all whole. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the whole floor, bro. I'm gonna got give it. you the whole floor. Nah, because it ain't gonna be long. Short. It ain't gonna be long. It's just I'm just gonna give my little spiel. As the oldest of four. I, for one, like when I get, always get pulled over, I was getting nervous regardless. Even when I was in the military, like if I was going home from like work, whatever, I was getting nervous regardless because it's just that natural thing, you know what I'm saying? Because you can be completely innocent. It's just that gut feeling because, you know, of the history, because especially, you know, growing up as a black man, you know, obviously I know our history, you know what I'm saying? So of course it's, you just want to make sure that you just go home. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one. But as being the oldest of four and having two younger brothers, having to teach them and get them to understand that it's like the scariest shit ever. Cause like, <laughs> it's like, it's kind of weird. Cause it's like, you want to protect them. Like you were saying, because it's, it ain't like you ain't like the burden is placed on us. Like we don't, like, I don't mind it. I don't mind having being the one to be like, all right, you gotta be the sole protector, the sole breadwinner. Like it's all on you. I don't mind it. Actually, I, I feed off that shit, but it's, it's so scary and it's vulnerable at the same time. Cause it's like, mm-hmm. damn, like, there's something that's out of your fucking control. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to get up. They're going to drive. They might have encounters with the cop. You just pray because you're not always going to be there. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of weird where it's like you feel powerful, but powerless at the same time. Yeah. And the fact is, I don't want to be scared of people. Like, I'm the most harmless person ever. Like, I'm a black hippie. That's all I am. I like to smoke weed and just chill. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be looked at as like <laughs> a gangster or a thug. You know what I'm saying? Or just, I'm just a regular person just going by his day. Probably going to get some snacks and going back to this little hole, you know, to do whatever he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's my spiel. Go uh, ahead, Tokyo. Get your talk on, my boy. I don't want to. I don't want <laughs> to get too toxic for this. But no, nah, I'm not going to get toxic. This is serious, though. Like for me to speak on now, I don't have kids, so I I wouldn't know. I would give us. My answer might not be the same answer, you know, when I have my kids. You feel what I'm saying? If I spoke now. But now speaking, with the climate that's going on, how I'm reading the room. Um, well, first let me get out, you know, driving by the police and stuff like that first. Um Yeah, I you know, you y'all, I mean I don't want to say we all get that feeling where, you know, your stomach hit the fucking floor when, you you know, you see police and they right behind you. 
and you don't know what the fuck. And you didn't do nothing. You just like figure out, trying to figure out, okay, if I'm going to make it home. If this person had a bad day today, his his girlfriend cheating on him or, you know what I mean, got caught with a black dude and he hate black people now or got them or, um, you know, somebody didn't cuss him out. You know what I mean? Job. He on the verge of fucking losing his job or, you know what I mean? No matter how they feeling, I don't know how that fucking cop feeling. And when they behind me, they can either pull me over over some bullshit because they know what color I am. Even with, for a stick, for, and this is in my case too, for driving a car that known for drug dealers, like, like car, like I had a Monte Carlo and that was a drug dealer car here. That was a drug little car here. You would get pulled over nine times out of ten in my area and probably some other areas with you just driving that car and you just like Monte Carlo. And you know what the fucked up part is? Monte Carlo's was the number one car for the racist sport in America. I'm just playing. I ain't gonna put it like that. I'm about to get tossed <laughs> again. But the racist sport in America called NASCAR. Shout out to my boy Bubba Wallace. I feel you, bro. That shit was no coincidence. Fuck that. Right. Um, that was the news. That was the fucking news. So, um, you know what I mean? A Monte Carlo was the top fucking car in fucking NASCAR for you to pull me over. You know what I mean? Because, oh, it's a dope boy car. You know what I mean? That's automatically like, oh, shit, I'm a scared move if I see any fucking police behind me. You know what I mean? So just having that and everything else is, is rough. Now, now, for me to tell my kids, coffee. Oh, I feel, I felt it. I felt, I felt, I felt the the Java in the background as you were stirring your your whatever. But let yeah, me get I got back like to a little it. whisk. <laughs> but um, but get back to it. If I had to tell my kid anything, and I'm just saying, if I had a kid now. Um, might change in the future, guys. So, eh, don't hold me to my words now. But um, I would let them know, like, hey, the world is is not out to get you, but there is things that is going to get you, and you gotta be wary of what you, you know, how you move through life, how people see you in life. You know what I mean? How people portray you in life. Put. And just try my best to show them, like, hey, you know, that's not the right way to, you know, move if you're going out out and about in the world. Because you might get looked like, you know what I mean, looked at like this. That would be my whole, like, you know, trying to tell them how to maneuver through life because of my own spirit. You know what I mean? I can only tell them for okay. what I know. And then down the line where I say my uncles or, you know, you know, their uncles, you know what I mean? From either side would tell them what they experience. You know what I mean? So it, it, it takes that village to teach that kid on what they've been through. And that's why I said what I said about, you know what I mean? With, you know, just having a black kid, you can understand that struggle. Because if you have a mixed, if you have a mixed kid, it's a both. Because they will not understand. Even in do school, I can tell you a lot of my friends and even some of my cousins, they go to school and don't know which side of the fucking fence they want to be on. You feel what I'm saying? Even though they grew up with me and they can always come to the fucking barbecue, you know what I mean? But they always see themselves like, okay, I'm a double person. You know what I mean? My mom white, mom black. You know what I mean? My dad black. But they always see themselves as a double person instead of one okay. person. So I can't tell them their struggles if I've always been black. I can only understand them from what they're coming from. You feel what I'm saying? So there's 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 that line that I, I kind of push, and I ain't want to take it to a whole Meghan Markle thing. Left that in the back, back door. <laughs> Not putting that shit back in. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, if there's... There's that struggle within a misraised child that that that's not been talked about. You know what I mean? More than hey, 
you know what I mean? Our skin color is, you know, what they judge us by. What about them? You feel what I'm saying? So either if I have a mixed race child, okay. if I have a if I have a dark skinned child, I'm gonna tell them, hey, from my experience, I went through this. This is how you should move. And that's it. I'm done. That wasn't too toxic, was it? <laughs> no, just a little <laughs> bit. You good. My my so but Uh-oh. for me, right. I'm I'm like sixty forty. I have a fear. Like I was, I, like my old man grew up in the 50s, 60s, 60s, 70s, 60s, 70s, I think I want to say. And I remember him telling me stories back in Detroit. It was um, they called him the Big Four, and they used to be four, four of the biggest cops you've ever seen. You used to ride around, and they would just roll up on you at the liquor store corner wherever you look like you're doing something wrong they just roll up on you beat the shit out of you keep on going ain't no tickets ain't no detainments ain't no questions they just fuck you up same like the la you look like you're doing the wrong thing same. but it, but on the same at the same time that my dad is telling me these stories on how horrible cops are he is telling me that cops police sheriffs whatever they're needed to keep us safe like cops are the good guys but this is something that does happen so it was like i would flip-flop back and forth on like as a kid yeah being a cop is a good thing you you would want to grow up to be a cop compared to nah fuck cops all cops need to die because they wait can y- y'all hear me yeah 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 okay now yeah, yeah everybody here like froze but it's something going on with my internet and then once I got in, once I got into high school, like still having those mixed feelings, and then doing some of the things I was doing, probably one of the most traumatic experiences I had with cops was like during my senior year, getting a ride home with one of my homeboys. We got pulled over, so they, they no longer call the Big Four in Detroit. They call Gang Squad, <laughs> and we got pulled over by Gang Squad. Didn't do nothing wrong. He wasn't speeding. The the light was like a mile back, so we didn't do nothing wrong. Just pulled us over. He got his all his paperwork, and he was waiting for him, and they snatched his ass out of his fucking uh, car seat, beat the shit out of him. Snatched me out of the car, since I never looked my age, even though I was older than him, they put me in fucking flex cuffs and beat the shit out of him to the point where he couldn't drive home. I had to run to a fucking payphone, because back then we had cell phones, and I had to call his cousin to come take him to the fucking ER, because they fucked him up that bad, and we didn't do shit. So my perception of cops at that point was like, yeah, cops are, uh, they're the reason that the hood is the way it is. This was, in fact, if you witness a crime, I'm more afraid to call the cops to to come help because they might think I'm the one that's doing the crime. They might fuck me up. Like, that. that's, that's what was put into my head at a very young age. Mm-hmm. But once again, started, you know, uh, getting out into the world and being outside of Detroit, being out in the suburbs, working or whatever my perception of cops became different because I'm no longer a part of that element. Like, I don't see myself as a game member or a dope boy or anything like that. Like, I'm going to work, I'm going to school, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing the right way. So if I get pulled over by a cop, I ain't do nothing wrong. Mm. But if you ask my brother, I used to get pulled over two, two, three times every other week to the point where I had a cop that used to hang out at my job because he knew I didn't have insurance. He gave me three tickets in two weeks. And by that third week, if I didn't pay that ticket, it was a warrant out for my uh, it was a warrant out for my arrest. Because I had to pay the ticket within so many days. And he literally used to wait for me just to give me a ticket. And it was like, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm going to work. And just for the simple fact that because I live in Detroit and I can't afford the car insurance, you're gonna continuously give me a ticket. So you're intentionally fucking with me. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I am doing something illegal, you know, driving without insurance. But I'm doing the right thing. Like I'm trying to be able to afford those things. So, like, I, I, I want cops to be what what we were taught in school to be the saviors of a neighborhood or whatever. Mm-hmm. But because of those life experiences growing up, because of those not so few bad apples, it makes it very difficult. 
for them to even clean up. I don't care how far into the into the um, into the future we talking. I I believe cops will always be that until society overall change. Everything gets overhauled to the point where there there's no there's no different. Like we we care about homeless people. There will be no more homeless people. You know what I'm saying? Like like the little simple shit that we see every day that you call the cops for wouldn't be a thing anymore. Like there's no way that you can sit up here and say like I will raise my kid to respect cops in 50 years. I don't see that. That's just like sitting up here saying there, there won't be any racism in 50 years. It's possible. That we just make made the world to be. Hold on. It's possible though. I think that's possible in 50 years. Do you? Yeah. I don't. I yeah. don't. I feel I like think, I, I think it's like a uh, like a thing we pass down. Like I feel like right now it's like the great grandparents who were like the racists who are grown like their parents are maybe like slave masters and then yeah. they die out and then like I said like I mean I know when you look at the Trump thing get more like, diluted down down yeah, the generation it's definitely you, you, y'all think so yeah I don't I have this feeling and this 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 theory that it's gonna eventually be another uh, civil like type war in the next like 50 years I don't think it's gonna get better I don't I don't if anything I feel like history's not gonna repeat itself as far as the slavery but it's gonna get bad before it gets better I don't know it's a large mm-hmm. amount of this is why I say I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be like that because it's a large amount of white folks that love black shit yeah and I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. They love black shit. And when they get called out on that shit, they get so offended that that they get called out on that shit. You know what I mean? More than, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, I think they like the ideal of, of black shit. But when it comes down to it, they're going to choose their own. And I, would, and I would tell my white boyfriend the same thing. I was like, they come down to it. I know you're going to back your people and I'm definitely going to back mine. It's like a safari thing. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like you going, you literally going to an element of these exotic animals <laughs> where you're in their element. So mm-hmm. you don't have to, but it's something exciting because it's something that's different from the norm. I look yeah, at the fault. same thing. It's like so you're saying yeah. zebras, zebras, a lion, a lion. No, what I'm saying is like, if, like if a zebra wanted to date a lion, then you should understand that it's not going to be an easy process. You know what I'm saying? At least but not right when now. When war comes down, do you think that zebra going to be on the side of the lions and and still fight that fight between the lions? Or I mean, lions and the zebra? Or I mean, I know we're going to fucking Lion King territory, though. But I'm yeah. just saying, though, like, I know that, that zebra going to get ate by a whole collective of lions because See, the it's not a lion. Hey, if we're basing, if we're thinking that racism is like an inherent trait of lions, then, then yeah, then it's never going to end. But I don't think that either racism that was something that was taught, and those people who are teachers are dying out because their children and their grandchildren are fucking everyone else. <laughs> they like everyone else. Damn. They're doing it. You know what I'm saying? They hang with everyone else. So what? It, like I said, whether it's twenty years, thirty years, or forty years from now, I do think fifty years from now that. This shit is gonna be like trivial. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, what? It probably be like a whole bunch of like light skinned people around anyway. It's but that's a whole that's, bunch of mixed babies. And but shit. that's why I was getting that with, like I said, like a lot of <laughs> white folks knowing that our shit is bomb as fuck. You know what I mean? They looking like, damn, where this where this shit was at all our life. You know what I mean? I wanted seasoning on my chicken. I went to my homie, you know what I mean, Peanut House, and fucking his mom had the best chicken than anything. I come home, my shit is, is whiter than my mom. Yes, I'm getting toxic. Fuck it. <laughs> the day, I'm already nobody, here. I don't think. It's hey, I, have I, people want to, I want to end my, my, my cop part. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We waited. Uh, we okay. waited on you. I, they I'm was sorry. Talking. Yeah. Nah, go um, ahead. So, so for me, the way I, it, it's funny, because you can tell how I talk. I was raised a certain way. Um, even though I came up different than the way I was raised. Like, I always see myself as, again, not the problem. And every time I've ever gotten pulled over, as soon as I open my mouth, 90% of my inter- inter- interactions with police have always been good. Even when I got my DUI in Hawaii, 
outside of the, the sergeant that pulled me over, he was an asshole. But they had eight cops show up as backup. And eight cops was just like, put him in his car, send him home. The arresting officer did not want to arrest me. But he was forced to by the sergeant. And that was a, that was a fucked up encounterment because even the cops that showed up, he was it was a Hawaiian cop that showed up that was a National Guardsman. And he told me, he was like, the sergeant don't like black people and he really don't like military. So just for that simple fact, like I'm getting, yes, I was in the wrong for doing what I was doing, but he definitely singled me out because of you that. Had, you already had a double As soon as I said my paperwork was in my bag. Yeah. So as soon as I said like, oh, well, hey, all of my paperwork for my car is in my assault pack in the back seat, he flashed Looked in there and he seen a fucking multi cam bag. Step out of the vehicle. What the fuck I do? And I, I literally did that. Like my hands were here and I put them up. Like what did I do? Like why I got to step out of the vehicle? And he went straight to a sidearm and was like, step out of the vehicle. And I was just like, okay, well, damn, that's my last seconds on earth. Like I literally looked back into the into the windshield and just imagined the last thing that I was going to see was my brain splattering across the windshield. Just because I asked the question of like, what did I do? Like, why do you ask me to step out of the vehicle? And even still to this day, if I get pulled over, it's just like, I know I'm not doing anything wrong. And even if I am, you're supposed to uphold the law. Like, I, I feel like I, I, I can't sit up here and demonize every cop, but my life experiences is, is, is a conflict. It's, it's like every, like what you just said, if I pull up at a stop sign, like I literally in Detroit, oh, this is bad. I was about 25, 24, 25. I literally passed out at a red light on my way to a dorm. I left the strip club, was on my way to the dorm to spend the night, and I woke up on eight mile at a red light. The cops were sitting next to me. My bad, it was a green light. The light was red. I fell asleep. I woke up to a green light. I was like, oh shit. Oh, fuck. And they looked at each other, they smiled, and they pulled off. And I was just like, yo, what the fuck? If I was anywhere else outside of Detroit, yeah, I was done. Yeah. So I like, like I said, like I have mixed <laughs> feelings with, with cops. You know what I mean? So, you know, how, how I would treat the next, I mean, uh, teach the next generation, it would basically be the same thing that my dad did to me. Give me those horror stories, but give me the truth about what police are used for and what they're needed for. And not really drill into my head that cops are all bad. Like at least, at least, you know, give me the knowledge and and give me the the information to stay safe. You know what I mean? Don't talk back. <laughs> do it do as you're told. Up until that level of disrespect. Yeah, you know I mean, like get on the ground. I'm never getting on the ground. I'm never getting on the fucking ground. I'll die. Get on the ground. No. Get on your knees. No. Like, no. My my old man don't tell me what to do. He told me at a 15. He he knocked my ass the fuck out because I didn't cut the grass. For a whole week, I didn't cut the grass. And it was like a weekday. And he was like, boy, I thought I told you to cut the grass. Oh, okay, yeah. Start walking up the stairs. He was like, you don't think the grass needs to be cut? And I was like, why don't you cut it? And I woke up in between the screen door and the next door. And I still didn't cut the grass. <laughs> two days later, two days later, he was like, hey, before you get up and go play basketball with your friend, cut, can you cut the grass? All right. And literally that day, I got up and I cut the grass. And uh, the, the next night, he was just like, from this point forward, I'll never tell you what to do. I'll ask you. Because every time you ask me to do something, I'll do it. You tell me to do something, you don't tell me what to do. That's just that's just me and who I am, who I've been it's at least since I was 15. Wow. That explains a lot. I, but that's me. Like, you don't tell me what to do. Even when I was in the Army, my, my third day in my first unit, Sergeant was cussing out the whole platoon. I'm like, I just got here. Y'all heard it. Fuck up. Y'all do this shit and don't fuck around. Fucking fucking motherfuckers. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, go make that shit happen. Fall out. 
Everybody fell out. I was like, Esteban, can I talk to you for a minute? And I straight up told him. I was just like, I went to parade rest. I did everything I was supposed to do. I was like, hey, sorry. I'm like, you ain't got to cuss at me to get me to do anything. You ask me what to do, I'll do it. You tell me what needs to happen by Friday or Monday, I had that shit done by Wednesday. You just, you ain't got to cuss at me. I understand if shit needs to happen right now, cool. But you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, don't don't use that language with me if if the time doesn't warrant. And he was like, okay, fine. how old are you? Told him how old I was. I beat him by like seven years. Because, <laughs> you know, I joined at 30. This motherfucker like 22, 27. I mean, 22, 23. And I was just like, yeah, man, I'm a grown-ass man. Don't cuss at me. And he was like, all right. So uh, go help your, buddy, your battle buddies up. And I was like, Roger, that's all right. He was like, all right, fall out. And then, as soon as I took two steps, he was like, hey, fight. That's all right. Hey, hurry the fuck up. And then we laughed about it. But it was, it was just one of those, like, he knew, like, all right, not to talk to me that way. That's all. It's, it's just a respect thing. So if I ever get put over by a cop and they tell me to get on the ground, I'm not getting on the fucking ground. I'll take that bullet. Fuck it. I know where I'm going. I've died three times. I was born dead. I was uh, brain dead in the sixth grade. And I drowned when I was nine. And I've done my dirt. Yeah, I've asked for forgiveness, but hey, fuck it. Oh, you seen it? You not, you're not. I mean, you got, you got four more lives, though, don't you? I'm just saying. So, if there's any cops out there that see me in North Carolina, please don't test that. Because <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> man, no, no, no time like, soon. The way you going, man? You sound like a cat, dog. You probably got five more left, man. For real. I don't want to find out. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That's crazy. But no, I appreciate y'all coming on here and blessing, blessing the show right quick. It's always great to get different mindsets and different you know, opinions and feelings and, and, and all of that perspective, especially from my own people too. You know, we got to support each other. But no, I, I really fuck with y'all for coming on here, bro. And um, heard some interesting things, especially from you, Tokyo, you know. Hey. Hey, but, uh, y'all, was, y'all made me, y'all made me, y'all made me the enemy, dog. I, nah, I had to play. I think, I think you made had, yourself nah, the enemy. Nah, 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 nah. Think me. you yeah. made you think you made yourself the enemy on that one. Nah, nah. Hey, put it down in the comments if y'all think. I was yeah, the yeah. Enemy, so, man. so, so, if any of my friends <laughs> hear this, I don't know this man, y'all. You know, let's do some hey. boy. Let's do some boy. <laughs> hey, After tonight, hey. I don't even think I know him. To be honest. Hey, I hey, this, all I gotta say is, why so serious, guy? Nah, yeah, but no, nah, no, for real, for real, everybody gonna fuck with it. Um, black people, black men don't get that time and that space to actually like show their intelligence and, and you know show their feelings in a man's way. And I and I thought about this for like a whole week. I was like, my second, and I was going through it was like my second episode, mm-hmm. my second episode, and I was surrounded by all my homies, and there are black men. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a black man a platform, let him talk, let him, let him get some shit out right quick, cause they don't ever get to you know express themselves and talk about shit, and, you know. And and as a woman, I feel like we need a better understanding too, no matter what color we is, cause it seemed like every platform, every interview and stuff, women get to talk a lot, and that's coming from a woman. But it's rare. Most of the men that get interviewed or get talk is either about their career, or you know. About money or nothing, but it's not. It it's nothing serious. It's nothing like legit no. that needs to be talked about or questions that you know other people won't know about. So I was a like, you times, know, fuck it. A lot of times, fuck dudes, the, the black man have to pander on how they feel a lot. So it's it's. I'm glad that you gave us that platform to talk our shit, especially yeah, with me. Damn, we didn't touch on that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, hey, that's the, we that's have the a next hey, we that's, have that's, a podcast. Yeah, they definitely do the shit five. That's that's <laughs> so that's a topic right there. If you hear me, yeah, yeah, definitely is. Yeah. And I'm gonna be much more toxic on that one. Lord, man, <laughs> Wednesdays on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, you all silly dog. No, but no, seriously, all seriously. Thank you. Um. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I definitely did. And I, I hope everybody myself. watching this enjoyed this too. For real. I fuck with it though. But uh, hey, y'all go check out their YouTube. Uh, hit them up on social media, especially if you're single female. You know, 
Look, my brother do sup. Yeah, thir- third date. Give him the word, slide, dude. Slide, third date. Slide, 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 what network yeah, we slide, on? Slide in them DMs, you know. <laughs> Slide in them DMs. What network look, look, we going to do? Yeah, like, what network LA, we on? LHR be the mob. You know shit I'm saying? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm Yellow tape. Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. But we're going we gonna, to we gonna holler at the people till oh, next time. You got to come on, too. You know that, right? Oh, definitely. definitely. I'm going to fuck you with got, y'all. You got to come back home. Come on, now. Come oh, on. We're we gonna, gonna have, I'm coming. We got, we got some topics. Yeah. Some topics. If if you That's got a true. topic, I gotta I gotta see. I well, might I have to return. It. I might have too. I might have to return a favor, Tokyo, and be just as toxic because you know I. Oh am yeah, please toxic. bring it. Please bring I, it. I, I'm toxic as hell, and and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please bring it. I I love it. I love it. That's why. Oh, I, 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 I didn't say yeah. it. I meant to say this to y'all before we started recording. For the record, I don't have a preference when it comes to little women. They're not midgets. They're little women. All obsessed and with this shit. Man. There we go. I only share the shit that we do in our in 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 our DMs because of the conversation that we had. Okay. I don't. I am not. Was it preferential <laughs> to to little yeah. women? All right. So the whole twelve love- year old boy thing. I like athletically Whoa. built women, but that is not my preference. I do, I do like See, an athletically there, built woman, like proportionally. Thank you, fights. But, thank you, fights. Like, but the way they was thank making you. the sound was like, I'm, I'm in a 12 year old boy shaped woman. I'm just like, wow, really? Like, no, okay. Then why don't you just, just because, just because, no, I'm, yo, okay, I'm serious. I was watching it and I, <laughs> and I hit them up when they were saying them. Uh, really was just like, yeah, like fights and who somebody else was. I Me? think it was you. Yeah, me. <laughs> I think Tokyo are into into women that are built like twelve year old boys, and I was just like, wow. I was like, whoa, that, that why I hit that wall. <laughs> like, yeah, I was just like, wow. Come I on now, I was on there. I, I really, Bro, I was just wanted, I just like, wanted to share the screen. I'm sorry, <sighs> we gotta do that on our set. I want. I, thank you, fights. Thank. You.